Did you practice one line at a time so that you could get really like, used to that line? Like backwards? No, just one line and you just play it three times in a row. Oh, Instead that? of going from the beginning to the end. Yeah. That... Did you do that? I'm not sure. Because it's really more efficient if you just play this line or this phrase three times and then go on to this next one for three times instead of playing the oh, whole I, piece. Does I that just, make sense? I didn't do it this Okay, so that's what we did it last week in, in our lesson, but we can do it again this week, okay? Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and tap it. So the very first beat is which hand only? The, uh, uh, the right hand. Uh, the very first beat. Oh, the left hand. The left hand. Okay, so which which counting beat do you do you start with the right hand? Hmm? Uh, chords. On beat what? Beat two. Beat two. Okay, very good. Are you ready? <clears throat> yeah. One. So did you notice that in this measure, your left hand holds through while your right hand comes out? Oh, did yeah. You I didn't that? get that, like, in the song, you have to, like, mm -hmm. I thought you play, like, here, you lift your hand up here, like, after you play that. Well, actually, you lift it on the very next downbeat, because how many beats does that note get? Three. Three. So you have to give it its totally full oh. value. So it's really this downbeat where you pick it up. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So where would you uh, pick up this dot and a half note? Mm -hmm. Where would you? Uh, where would you pick up this note? Like exactly, these, right like on the downbeat. Like Good, and then what about these? Those long, long, tight notes? Where do you pick those up? Uh, right here. Perfect, and then the last line, where do you pick up your left hand again? Oh, uh, this line? The last one, sure. Oh, uh, right here? Oh, right here. Yeah, right on the downbeat. Right every time you say what, 